How's it going, everybody? I'm Hawk from VHI Gaming and Anime and the Hunter Inc. Podcasts. And not too long ago, the Nintendo NX got revealed, and it is no longer called the NX. It is now called the Nintendo Switch, and it looks awesome. Some people say it looks a lot like the Wii U, but to me, it doesn't. It does have the gamepad, but unlike the Wii U, where you had to keep it in the same room or keep it nearby the Wii U console, with the Switch, you can take it anywhere. In the trailer, it had the guy on the plane to in a completely different area and then back home playing the Wii U or the, uh, the Nintendo Switch on the pad itself. The controllers are the, uh, the buttons and the joysticks. They come detached from the pad and the controllers. You can use them individually. There's two of them on the controllers. You can use them individually for multiplayer if you want. They are a little small, but that's fine. They're not, ab they're not insanely small. Um, the new games that they did showcased in the trailer were Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a new Super Mario title that is unnamed, a new Mario Kart game. I'm assuming it's a new Mario Kart game. Um, they uh, showcased a Splatoon, but it looked like a different Splatoon, or maybe an upgraded Splatoon. And they also showcased a little bit of Skyrim. So it's like they're gonna port Skyrim over to the NX, and it looks like the remastered version, but... Obviously, no news if the mods will make it over there. I'm not sure if they will or not. Knowing Nintendo, probably not, but that's fine. I don't really care about the mods on the NX or the Switch. It looks really fun, and they are using cartridges. That is a thing that is being implemented. So the rumors on that were, in fact, true. They looked pretty small, but that's fine. That probably means no backwards compatibility with the discs, but I'm sure they'll do it the same way they've done on the Wii U and the Wii with the the play store you can buy the games and download them and play them on your console like with the way you did with some of the old uh, super nintendo games and some of the 64 games and i think recently the uh the gamecube games and we but you know that i'm sure is going to be a thing uh some people are giving it a hard time but honestly it looks good and they've already said that they're going to have they're working on pokemon games for the nx and last i heard they were hybrids between um main canon games and spin-off games so it might be like side stories i'm I'm not sure what they're doing not a lot of information about that is released and we still don't know specifications on the, the switch or any in-depth look on the switch other than what it looks like what it can do from detaching from the console and the games it can play that they showcased um the multiplayer looks looks pretty good um it looks easy to comprehend Online multiplayer, I'm guessing, is going to be easy, easy to do, easy to figure out. But you know, that's pretty much all that they've really showcased for now. Um, the more information they release, we will definitely bring it to you guys. We'll talk about it more. We'll have probably in-depth discussions on the podcast this coming up Saturday, so be looking out for that. So, guys, until then, I'm Hawk, and I'll see y'all later.